Were you in the process of purchasing HostGator hosting, getting a free domain name, and or installing WordPress, but the steps to do that no longer matched up? Then you've come to the right place. Hello, I'm Yoda, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, during this course, if you run into any troubles, just leave a comment below the video, and I'll be more than happy to assist you. And don't be shy about asking for help. I've been a webmaster instructor, aka the Web Yoda, for over 20 years, and I love to hear from my students. But if you could, please pay it forward. If you could like the video, subscribe to the video, share the video, tell your friends about the video. Those are the kind of things that help get the word out there so other students like you can find this video. So let's go ahead and dive into the web hosting matrix to learn more about why HostGator is the best web hosting solution for me. Finding great web hosting solutions in the matrix of hundreds of choices can be frustrating at best. You have to understand that nearly all web hosting review sites make sure that the web hosting company they are affiliated with always get the best review. So basically that web hosting company is number one to them because they get paid if you decide to use that company. I have been hosting websites for over 30 years with the first five years being me supplying my own hosting. I have used at least 10 of the hosting companies shown here either personally or for my clients. Obviously not all web hosting companies are created equal and there are only a few that stand out from the rest. But how do you reveal the best web hosting provider with all the fake reviews out there? As puzzling as this might sound, I was able to find my answer while not allowing my own bias to interfere. For me, I like to turn problems inside out. In this case, I was looking for the web hosting review that reveals a web hosting company that sucks the least. So first, the quick answer to the question of who is the best web hosting company for me is simple. Hands down, it's HostGator. HostGator is definitely the best web hosting solution for me, my clients, and for WebYoda. But the obvious next question is, why is HostGator the best choice? Well, WebYoda did some research to try to find some authentic web hosting reviews, and they settled on some results from PC Magazine. You have to understand that PC Magazine has been around for nearly 40 years providing essential technology information to the end user. For our purposes, every year PC Magazine does an Editor's Choice Award to determine the best web hosting companies. And shown here are the top six web hosting companies for this year, with HostGator being number one. It turns out that HostGator has been rated the number one web hosting provider by PC Magazine for many years running. Basically, HostGator collectively has the features you need. Their server reliability is amazing, their 24-7 support is amazing, their prices are good or better than anybody out there. I've personally been using HostGator for more than three years now. I host over 200 domains and websites with them. WebYoda also decided to go with HostGator for all their needs. In fact, WebYoda partnered with HostGator, and as part of that partnership, WebYoda students receive up to 75% off plus a free domain name. Now for you to take advantage of this offer, you simply need to go to your browser and type in HostGator.com front slash WebYoda. And this will take you to the HostGator WebYoda partner page, which also ensures that you get the best possible price for your WordPress hosting. Now what you see here is a previous version of the partner page. Let me refresh so you can see the partner page I'm seeing today. And I'm pointing this out because the partner page you might see might be slightly different than this one as well. But no matter what the partner page you see looks like, I want to make sure you're able to purchase your website hosting and install WordPress within your hosting account with absolutely no confusion on your end. Because YouTube videos can't be edited after they're published, there's a chance that HostGator will make a change to the WordPress install process that will no longer match the video. If you find that's the case, simply go to webyoda.com front slash support and then click on this video at the top left and that'll take you to the latest HostGator WordPress install instructions. Now we're going to be purchasing our hosting and installing WordPress from the page you see here. So as you scroll down, you're going to see a get started button here. And further down, you'll see all the plans that we're going to have to choose from. Now, the next small step is probably not needed, but I wanted to include it just in case. Suppose the video already doesn't match with what you see at HostGator. If that's the case, just click on the HostGator logo at the top left. And this takes you to the main page for HostGator. And then go to Hosting and choose Shared Hosting. And this should bring you to the page that shows you the plans that we're going to use in this video. Now in our case, we're going to assume the HostGator WebYoda partner page matches up pretty much with what you see on your screen, and go ahead and proceed with purchasing our HostGator hosting, installing our WordPress, and then I'll give you complete instructions how to build your WordPress website at absolutely no cost to you. So from the HostGator WebYoda partner page, you simply want to scroll down, you can choose the Get Started button if you like, and it'll take you to the plans, or we could have just scrolled down to get to those plans. Now the reason you want shared hosting is because it starts around $2.50 a month, whereas dedicated server hosting will run you over $90 a month. 
Now for most students, you're only going to need one website, which means the hatchling plan will probably work fine for you. If you need two websites, you'll want to get the baby plan. If you want three websites, you're going to want the business plan. And if you need more than three websites, or if you need to upgrade from having one website to have multiple websites, just reach out to HostGator using the chat button at the bottom right, and they can assist you at adding any additional features you might need at a small upcharge. Again, most of us are just going to need the hatchling plan because we're only going to need one website, which normally runs about $2.50 a month, but because of the WebYeta partnership, we'll be able to get you a price even better than that. So with the hatchling plan, we'll be able to build our one website. It comes with 10 gigabytes of SSD storage, where SSD stands for Solid State Drive, which is the fastest drives available today. And 10 gigabytes of space is going to be more than enough to build any reasonable sized website. You also get free chat support, which is amazing. I use it all the time anytime I run into troubles. You'll also get unlimited bandwidth, which means your website can get unlimited traffic at no additional cost to you. You also get basic email included. You'll get a free domain name, a free secure key, which makes all your web pages secure. Now, as a very recent feature to HostGator, which spawned the making of this video, WordPress now comes pre-installed, so we don't even have to install WordPress, which is really good news for you and me. With the Hatchling plan, you also get malware scanning, which means that HostGator is always scanning your account to make sure none of your files have been infected and hackers haven't gotten hold of your account. Now we're ready to purchase our hosting account, so we'll go ahead and click on the Buy Now button. And this takes us to the application form for purchasing our HostGator hosting. The first thing we need to do is choose a domain name, where the domain name is just the name of your website. So for example, the domain name for WebYoda is webyoda.com. Now in most cases, people already have a domain name in mind that they want to use. In that case, we want to register a domain here. But some cases, people already own the domain. So you can click that button, enter your domain name to proceed. But the process is the same. If you have your own domain name and you use this method and you have any troubles once you purchase hosting, just go to the HostGator chat support and they can sort things out for you. If you're unsure what the best domain name is for your website, or if the domain name you're interested in is already taken and you're unsure how to proceed, simply take a step back. You don't have to get your hosting right this very second. It's really more important to pick the best domain name since once you've picked one, it's hard to undo that. Just go ahead and go below the video into the comment section and leave me a message that says, Hey Yoda, I'm having trouble picking a domain name. Explain a little bit about your company, what you're looking to do with your website, and then I'll respond as fast as I can with some domain name suggestions so you can move forward. In my case, I know the domain I'm interested in, so I'm going to type in how to install WordPress. And then over to the right, you can choose the domain extension you want to use for your domain name. Most cases, you want to choose .com. It's the most popular one in the world. However, there's plenty of other ones to choose from. We're going to go ahead and click on the search icon. Once the search is complete, you'll notice a couple things. First, the domain name I'm interested in is available, which is great news. And secondly, that domain name will be free thanks to the HostGator WebYoda partnership. Now, on the off chance your domain name was not available, as you scroll down, you'll notice there's lots of alternatives to choose from. You could also go back to the search box and try other options as well. So as I scroll down, when I get to the bottom, you'll see a section on domain privacy. Domain privacy basically hides your identity or your personal contact information for people who do search results on domain names. And on the surface, this looks like a pretty good deal. For $15 a year, I'm hiding my contact information. I'm making myself private. But the reality is, on your website, it's going to have your contact information. It's going to have an address. It's going to have a phone number. So somebody's going to be able to find you either way. So it's kind of up to you whether or not you want this privacy because you're only making it private for people viewing the domain name information. It doesn't make it private for any other methods people might try to contact you. So in my case, I'm going to leave the domain privacy unchecked. If yours is checked and you don't want it, make sure you uncheck it right there. And now we want to choose the hosting plan that's best for us. In our case, we picked the hatchling plan to begin with. We wanted one website. Under the billing cycle, we have three choices. We can choose one month, 12 months, or 36 months. One month is really not an option for us. We don't get the free domain with that. 12 months and 36 months gives us a free domain name. So basically, you're trying to decide, do I want to commit to three years of hosting, or do I want to commit to one year of hosting? With the one year of hosting, you're going to get the best price for the day. For the three years worth of hosting, you probably get a better price in the long run. But it's just a matter of how long do you want to sign up for and commit for now. We're going to go ahead and choose the 12 months for this example. And now I'm going to scroll down. At this point, you're going to enter a username and password here. Then you're going to enter your billing information here. And now you're confronted with additional add-on services that you may or may not need for your website. I can tell you that most websites won't need any of these services, 
but I'll give you a detailed description of each of these additional add-ons, then you can make an informed decision about which of these features are best for you. The first is a backup feature that will automatically backup your website on a daily basis, but I happen to know they do automated monthly backups for you at no cost to you, and I'll also provide you a video on the backup solution I use for WebYoda and all my clients. If you're looking to make scheduled automated backups of your WordPress website where you're in full control, as well as make manual backups at any time that you can store locally on your own computer, then you'll want to check out my WordPress Backup and Restore video at some point. The next is the SSL certificate, which makes your web pages secure, but purchasing through the partner program, you're going to get an SSL certificate for free, so there's no reason to buy one here. And the next add-on is SiteLock Essentials. And basically, they're charging you to monitor your site and then tell you if there's any problems with your website. But this is very similar to the malware scanning we already get for free. And I can assure you that HostGator is significantly more concerned about their hosting and about their servers from being attacked from the outside world than we are. And so they're going to make sure that nothing goes wrong on our behalf, whether we pay this fee or not. So I'm going to deselect that add-on. Scroll down. Next is Yoast, or Yoast, depending on who you ask. And this plugin is the most popular and best search engine optimization plugin, SEO plugin, available today. What's interesting is they also have a free version, and the free version will do everything that we're going to need. The free version is the one that I use, and the free version is the one that I show you how to add to your website in every one of the videos where I teach you how to build a website. This means there's no reason to purchase this because we're going to be able to do everything we need with the house for free. The next add-on is e-commerce basic. This allows you to add, for example, purchasing features and or a shopping cart to your website. But if you're looking to build a shopping cart website, I have a video on how to build a shopping cart website at absolutely no cost to you. Let's scroll down. And now we're at the final steps of our application page. We've got a coupon code field, and then we've got our current order. Notice that it should already be at around $31. But on the off chance you get a better price, you can put the WebYoda code in there and hit validate. And we're still getting the same price, but we're still getting a really good deal on this. Your hosting account comes with 24-7 live support via their chat window. They're super helpful, super friendly, very knowledgeable. Your account comes with instant account activation, meaning once we've purchased, our hosting will be available immediately and we can start working on our website. They have a 45-day money-back guarantee. So if for any reason you're not satisfied with your hosting, just go to the chat window, let them know you'd like a refund, no questions asked, they'll take care of that for you. We got our domain name for free right here, and our plan is for 12 months. We'll scroll down. We have to agree to their terms. It's already clicked for me. It might need to be checked for you. And we're ready to check out. So I'll choose check out now. Congratulations. Our hosting account is now set up and ready to use. All we need to do is log in to our account. Now in this case, they just got the My Account button. When we click that, it's going to automatically log us in. But the next time you go to log in, you're going to need your user ID, and it's going to be whatever email address you used when you set up your account, as well as the password you used when you set up your account. Now at this point, we're going to click on the My Account button, and that's going to take us directly into our hosting account. So let's go ahead and click the My Account button. And that takes us directly to our hosting account. Now I wanted to quickly show you how you're going to be able to get back to here the next time you need to log in to your hosting account. It's pretty easy. All you need to do is go to HostGator.com. And then from the main page for HostGator, click on Sign In at the top right. Enter the email address that you use to sign up for your account here. Click on Next. Now it wants the password you used when you set up your account. So I'll go ahead and paste that in. Click Next. And that takes us directly to our hosting account. Now immediately you notice they're trying to upsell us on something. This is going to be the case with all hosting companies. Their goal is to make money, obviously. But for us, we're going to ignore the advertisements as much as possible. So at this point, we can just go into our HostGator menu. It's going to be here at the top left. I click on that, and I have three choices. And we're going to choose on Hosting. And now would be the point where we would install WordPress. However, the great news is, is HostGator just made a change. They're automatically installing WordPress for you without any effort on your part. So basically, all we need to do is start editing our website. Because if we scroll down, here's the Edit Site button. It's already ready to go. So for us, all we need to do is scroll down and choose Edit Site. And notice that it came up with this offer. These are the kind of things you can expect from any hosting company. They're going to try to sell you on things. Our goal is to get around these. Let me go ahead and close that. Let's click on Edit Site again. And basically, this is what we're trying to find. 
And this is the default that they start you with. And you'll notice the Start Setup button at the bottom. But we're not going to be using their method for setting up your WordPress. And that's because if you use their method, there's going to be lots of paywalls in the way. And we don't want to have any paywalls. If you follow my instructions through the end of this video, it'll get you all set up where everything can be done for free. Then you can follow any of my how-to videos on how to build a website, which will allow you to build your website entirely free at no cost to you. So for us to move forward, we're going to ignore the Start Setup here. And we're going to go ahead and click on the Exit to WordPress option here. Exit without finishing. And it automatically takes us to our new WordPress admin. Now what I want to do is I want to be able to get to our WordPress admin, what you're seeing here, without having to go through my HostGator hosting account. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to create my own user. So on the left hand side, we're going to choose users. And here it is, it's trying to give me another, please, please do this, do this, and I don't want to do this. Scroll down, go back to the dashboard. It's really annoying. I want to go back, down, find users. And now, in the section at the bottom is where our current users are. We just want to click on the button at the top that says Add New User. So at this point, we see all the default users, which was the one that was generated automatically. We want to add a new user. Scroll to the top if it wasn't already at the top. We want to put in a username. I'll put Yoda user. For an email, I'll use the one I used to set up the account. For the name, Yoda Yoda. You don't need to put a website address. I recommend using a strong password. Let's go ahead and hide that so I can put a new password in. Got a new password. Now where it says role, change this to administrator. Be sure to remember your username and your new password because that's what we're going to use to log into WordPress going forward. I click on Add New User. That new user has been added. Yeah, sure, I'll save it. Now I can come up here and choose Log Out. I'm no longer logged in. So now the trick is, how do we log into our WordPress website admin without having to go through HostGator to get there? Well, there's two pieces of information we're going to need. First, we're going to have to have our domain name. Now, notice right now that HostGator has set aside a temporary website that's not really our real website. And the reason they've done this is because when you purchase hosting, the hosting's available immediately, but the domain name may take a while because it has to propagate across the internet once it's been purchased and activated. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that our domain name is now active. To do that, let's go to the address bar. And in the address bar, put the domain name for your new website. It's whatever domain name you picked when you chose to set up your hosting. Now in my case, my new website is howtoinstallwordpress.com. So now that I've entered it in there, if I hit enter, if everything's up and ready to go, you'll get a website that kind of looks like this, meaning that you have a default website and it's functioning. However, if your domain name is not available, it's possible you'll see something that looks like this. So if your domain name was not ready yet, you'll need to wait a couple hours and try again, sometimes up to 24 hours. But the goal is to be able to go to your domain name and get something that looks like this, indicating that there is a website there, even though it's not going to be the one we're going to build. Once you get this, now we're ready to log in to our WordPress admin. Now, the trick is, how do we log in to our WordPress admin? And the answer is, we have our username and password now, we just created it. But what you want to do on the location line is go to your website address. So in my case, it's howtoinstallwordpress.com. Then on the end of our domain name, we type a front slash wp-admin. And we hit enter. And that takes us to the login page for our new website. Now one of the things you'll notice is up on the URL, it still says that it's trying to connect to the temporary domain name. And that's one of the things we're going to fix now. It's actually the last step before we're ready to start building our website. My username and password are already there. It pre-populated them because I saved it in the system. So all I need to do is click on Login. And it automatically takes us to the admin for our new WordPress website. I got there directly instead of having to go through my hosting account. But again, notice I'm on the temporary domain name. So let's go ahead and change the temporary domain name to our real domain name. To do that, on the left-hand side, we're looking for Settings. You'll click on Settings. So under General Settings, there's a number of different things we'll want to change. The first is your site title. 
In my case, I'm going to put how to install WordPress. Your site title will be whatever your website's about. And then you can pick a tagline. In my case, your ultimate guide to installing WordPress. Now these can be changed at any time by coming back into the settings tab, so it's not like you're making a permanent decision here. The next thing we're going to change is the address to get to our WordPress and the address for our website. And now that our domain name is working, we've already tested it and we saw that it's working, we're ready to put that in there. So in my case, it's going to be how to install WordPress.com. But you're also going to want to put this at the beginning, HTTPS colon slash slash. And what that does is tell your website to be secure. That's what the S does. So in my case, it's going to be how to install WordPress.com. Now, in your case, it's going to be your domain name. So you want to have your full URL, HTTPS colon slash slash, and then your domain name. Now the slash on the end is not needed. So now that I have my correct URL in here, and definitely make sure that you have it correct before you save this. I'm going to copy that into the box below because I want them to be the same. And the final thing you want to do to have complete control of your WordPress admin is set the administrative email address to your own personal email. And that way any of the emails related to your website will come directly to you. So in the email box, I'm going to put yoda.webyoda.com. And now I can scroll to the bottom and hit Save Changes. And once I save changes, it automatically takes me to a login box. And now look up here. It says how to install WordPress.com. So now I'm actually at my domain name. But also notice it doesn't have our username and password because when it was saved, it was saved to that temporary one, which is no problem. It just means we enter them again here. So for me, my username is Yoda User. Now I want to enter my password for when I set up my new user in WordPress. I hit login. It's going to ask me again to want to save it. Sure, I want to save it. Now look at this. We're live with our real domain name using a username and password that we created. So we're in complete control of that. And now we'll no longer have to go through our HostGator account to log into our WordPress admin. Now that you have access to your WordPress account, the easiest way to proceed is to go to webyoda.com front slash continue. This takes you to a page with the various WordPress how-to videos that WebYoda has to offer. If one of the WebYoda videos here looks familiar because you already started on that video, simply click on that video to proceed with that video at the WordPress login process. Otherwise, you can choose from any of the videos shown here as a starting point to create your own website. As a frame of reference, the ones on the top row are the most recent. So now on to the bonus material. If you go back to webyoda.com front slash support, you'll see that not only did you have access to the latest version of this video, but you also have access to all the Webyoda free resources to make building your website simple, fast, and mostly free. Now at the time of making this video, these were all the resources we had available, but we're adding plenty all the time, so definitely check back. For example, if you want to make your website three times faster, visit that video. If you want to be able to back up and restore your own website, choose that video. If you're looking for free stock photos and images for your website, check out that video. If you need to edit your photos and images online for free, check out that video. If you don't have a logo yet, build a free logo here online. If you want a video intro, you can check out this video. If you need a favicon icon, that's the icon that sits on your browser tab, this video will help you with that. And finally, if you decide to set up your own YouTube studio like I've done to be able to make your own videos, then check out that video. Now, I truly hope I covered everything you needed in this tutorial. Now, if there was something I didn't mention or you had additional questions, please leave them below. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. But if I don't know the answer, I'll go, hey, I don't know. But if I do know the answer, I can find the answer, I'll give it to you, and maybe we can work on it together. So I really enjoy doing this. I hope you had a great time as well. The only real payment I'm looking for, if I could possibly get a subscribe out of this, possibly a like out of this, that'd be super helpful. But outside of that, I just hope you have a great day. Peace out.